everyone, Nick it's Stretch here. In today's video I thought I'd do an easy one and show you guys how I record my videos and how I record my guitars and show you guys all of the equipment that I use to make these recordings happen. Now all of these equipment that I mentioned in this video will be linked down in the description box below as an Amazon affiliate link. Now what that Amazon affiliate link does it is if any of you guys end up purchasing any of these equipment through the link below I will get a small percentage of this deal and so that will really help me out and that really help support this channel. So yeah let's jump into it. Now the camera that I'm using is a Panasonic Lumix G7. Uh, it does 4K at 30fps and it also does Full HD at 60fps. I gotta say it's a really great camera. The only con of this camera is it does a really bad job at auto focusing onto whatever close uh, object that you want it to uh, focus on, which is the con of this camera. But other than that, it does a really great job as far as just recording these kinds of videos where you're just recording covers or face cam or really anything that doesn't involve close up, which is fine for me. So, so yeah, this camera is great. This will be linked down in the description box below. Uh, the microphone that I'm using is a Voiceful MC550. Now it is a cheap shotgun microphone that I bought for maybe, I think 50 bucks, 40, 50 bucks, somewhere around it, I might be wrong. Now I used to use the internal camera microphone for a while, but then uh, the HD started coming through a lot more frequently through my videos, so I thought it was a good idea to get a shotgun microphone. And so yeah, that, so the stock microphone is a Voiceful MC550, does a really great job. So yeah, this will also be linked down in the description box below. Now for the tripod of uh, the camera, I am using uh, the Retio M. See if it will focus, probably not. But anyway, I will have this linked down in the description box below. Now I'm also using one of those um, spider tripod, the flexible tripod thing uh, on this camera too. So I'll have that link down in the description box as well. So yeah, for my lighting, I use newer light panel. One of them uh, photography light thingy. I didn't really know exactly what it's called. So yeah, I got it mounted up on the wall and then I can just easily activate it and the light will bounce off the wall and uh, light up the whole room. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video and uh, the audio started thing. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys uh, how I record my guitars. So yeah, this is pretty much the brain of everything. Uh, I have my guitar plugged into the headrest gig board and then I have multiple uh, outputs. One output goes into the Scarlett 2i2 uh, audio interface and then the other output goes to the back and plugs into uh, my Black Star ID Core 150. It is plugged into one of the effect loops in the back of the amp. So what I did was I just bypassed the onboard amp's EQ. That way the only sound coming out of here is straight from uh, the headrest kick board. Now what I have going on here is uh, this is a Livid Guitar Ring MIDI controller. I use this to turn on and off effect whenever I'm not near my gig board. So that's great. So the guitar ring is hooked up to this USB receiver and the USB receiver is plugged into the 10 uh, MIDI USB host Mark 2 which is then plugged into my uh, address gig board. Now the software that I use uh, to make these kinds of video is uh, for video editing I use Adobe Premiere Elements 15. And for drum programming I use FL Studio and for recording and tracking guitar or bass parts I use Reaper. So yeah before I end this video I just want to talk about uh, another uh, mixer that the Fafine technology has sent me. Now this is a N6 headphone mixer. Basically it is a TRS splitter. You can plug one uh, audio source through there and have four different outputs. So these knobs you can change the volume of each output. Now this is great if you want to record and send a different signal to two different computers or interface or whatever it is that you want to record to. So yeah, link will be down in the description box below. So yeah, I think I'm going to wrap the video right there. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video.